cryptocurrency. Between January 2015 and April 2016, the value of the OneCoin cryptocurrency has risen over 11 times. How did OneCoin achieve that? OneCoin is different to other cryptocurrencies. The OneCoin cryptocurrency is based on cryptography that guarantees its security and makes it difficult to counterfeit. OneCoin is created through a process called mining. This ensures that every mined coin is unique, similar to how every dollar bill has a unique serial number called digital money or electronic cash. Cryptocurrency can be used instead of paper money. Cryptocurrencies make it easier and faster to transfer funds between two parties. The processing fees alone enabling users to avoid expensive fees charged by most traditional financial institutions for wire transfers. Cryptocurrencies are not tied to a particular country or central bank. Therefore, their value depends mainly on the number of people and merchants using them, besides supply and demand. One coin is not pre mined, and therefore the users create the market, mine, and use the coins. The finite number of coins that can be mined and consequently traded mean that there is no real risk of inflation. One coin changes the way we use financial services. One coin. Structure if you have small amounts of money is just too high, and we got involved in uh, some traditional micro lending, but just didn't see how that could scale up and get inexpensive enough. So now we're involved in trying to make sure we get a very efficient digital payment structure uh, set up for all the poorest in the world uh, to get financial products that work for them. What are you doing? Oh, uh, the idea is that. Uh, typically through the cell phone, you should be able to send money to your relatives, uh, you should be able to track the money that's coming in, set aside money to buy seeds the next year, uh, and there are countries where this is beginning to take off, uh, Kenya, Bangladesh, even Somalia, the last country you'd expect up in uh, Somalia land, uh, almost half of the GDP is, is done digitally. I don't need to tell you that the poor have been unbanked for as long as there have been banks. Why is this time different? Well, it's really the, the digital revolution. Uh, the poorest have you know, bought cows or gold, uh, uh, put currency under their mattress, uh, but uh, they are getting cell phones. And the cell phone capability of identifying who's using the cell phone, uh, let, letting you look at your spending patterns, uh, that's going to be common sense. Uh, people are going to have help and lots of innovative products up in this digital currency platform. So if technology, mobile phones for example, digital money helps to increase access to financial services at the same time as it lowers the cost of delivery, why is philanthropy needed? Uh, philanthropy should just be here to bootstrap this. Uh, there are a lot of regulations in this area and understanding how those regulations can make the cost of remittances where you're sending money back to your uh, family and your country of origin, uh, how right now that has about a 5% overhead on it. Uh, we think we have a role to make sure that, particularly for the smaller transactions, the regulations don't impose uh, those very high costs. Once this gets going, 
then we'll step up to the applications and say, okay, what is, uh, how, do, how does a savings application help the mother make sure money's focused on the kids? How does it help them stay in school and you know, set money aside for the uniform or, or for uh, good future plan? Some of what you just described, the need to move money from place to place, the cost of doing so, the overhead, as you put it, makes me think, believe it or not, of Bitcoin, because some people have said, hey, Bitcoin is the answer to those problems. Are you a believer? Well, Bitcoin is exciting because it shows how cheap it can be. Uh, Bitcoin is, is better than currency in that uh, you don't have to have, be physically in the same place. And, of course, for large transactions, currency can, can get pretty inconvenient. The customers we're talking about aren't trying to be anonymous. You know, they're willing to be uh, known. So it, it, Bitcoin technology is key, and you could add to it or you could build a similar technology uh, where there's enough attribution that people feel comfortable. This has nothing to do with uh, terrorism or uh, any type of, of money laundering. What kinds of people or private enterprises right now are helping to solve the same problems you're interested in? Well, in, in some countries, the mobile companies have been fantastic. In a few other companies, it's been the banks. Uh, in some countries, it's a startup company that's neither a bank nor a mobile company. In Bangladesh, the Bcash offering uh, runs across any phone, and uh, they've gotten the regulation so that they have a product that we think will get very, very pervasive. So entrepreneurs uh, are there. The enablement this creates, you know, if you want to put in, say, electricity in a city, collecting your bills is one of the reasons why the underspending and in infrastructure in these areas is, is a real thing holding back the economy. You mentioned banks. Are the legacy institutions, for the most part, banks, credit card companies, payment processors, friend or foe? Uh, many of them want to have these additional customers, but they have to embrace the idea that the fees uh, are going to be a lot lower. And so they have to find a way uh, to service these new customers. Now, that means these customers aren't going to be coming into their branches, uh, and they can charge a higher fee when you want to actually cash out. But if it's a pure digital, digital transaction, then, you know, you should be paying, you know, less than a percent to move that money from you to a merchant or from you to a friend, uh, even with meeting all the, the regular requirements.
Now, these stories of people getting rich from Bitcoin are very common. However, there were many more stories of people who missed out, because they believe some of the uneducated stories written online claim that Bitcoin was a scam. Well, Bitcoin was not a scam. And today, the Bitcoin is worth around $250 and has settled down. It set the standard. Proof that digital currency works globally. There are now hundreds of different digital currencies available. It's becoming more and more popular. There are over 100,000 businesses across the U.S. alone that accept digital currency as payment for their products. Dell Computers, Amazon, Expedia, Subway, Apple App Store, and Whole Foods, just to name a few. Bill Gates recently invested $400 million into digital currency to help pave the way for Microsoft to also accept digital currency as payment. Facebook owners have invested over $10 million in cryptocurrency. And even Sir Richard Branson recently paid over $600 million in digital currency for a new plane for his Virgin Airways. He saved over $15 million in bank charges because he used digital currency. Now do you see why so many large businesses are moving to this new currency? The truth is, it is far safer and more secure for people. It is more cost efficient and is not controlled by greedy banks or investment groups. Whether you agree, disagree, like it or don't like it, digital currency is here to stay. It will soon be the major currency we all use to purchase products. For over 250 millionaires have been created with one coin. And that figure is set to explode in the coming six months. Time is everything when it comes to creating a successful business. And it doesn't get any better than this. Chances are you ignored the experts' opinions about Facebook back in 2006. But look at it now. The same goes for Twitter, WhatsApp, Microsoft, Apple, and many others. For sure, you missed out on Bitcoin. Don't miss out again. Take this massive opportunity now to gain financial independence and take the first step to finally securing your future. And now there is the OneCoin cryptocurrency, which finally entered Europe in April 2015. OneCoin has been the second strongest cryptocurrency in the world. OneCoin is following the great success of the strongest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, which in the past four years created hundreds of new US dollar millionaires. But now there is one coin which is holding its status as the fastest growing currency in the world. During 12 months, millions of people joined this project and more than 650,000 of partners decided to actively take advantage of all the benefits which one coin offers to its members. On average, we have 4,000 new active members a day who join us and share this huge opportunity. This project offers a unique bonus plan and it took only 12 months for 400 people to earn 35,000 euros a week. The monthly turnover of this project has already surpassed 150 million euro. The OneCoin cryptocurrency is currently being traded in more than 190 countries of the world. The biggest interest in this currency comes from the most populated China and it is also very popular in India. Bill Gates recently invested 400 million dollars into digital currency to help pave the way for Microsoft. Or click on the button under the video, I want to earn money. You will be redirected to a form where you only need to fill in your name and email, and we will send you the video manual.